Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Figments in Time. I'm Lewis. Hello, She's friends. Not. I'm Val. <laughs> and yeah. today we're going to talk about two exciting things. One, mm -hmm. this is the last time we're going to record in these digs. There'll be a whole new yeah. gray wall of stuff behind us. Probably a little more curated, less car less things behind me for sure. Her too. But we're also going to Disney World next week. Yay! That's Every the time thing. we move, we have to go to Disney World. It's become tradition. It's a tradition. And Super Bowl. That's we try to exhaust ourselves as much as we possibly can in weeks in a row. Well, that's what we do. That's right. All right. So we're gonna talk about our top five things that we're looking forward to hey. yeah. in the next week. I don't know what her list is. She doesn't know what my list is. No, it's hard to come up with just five. I mean, I want to make it, I wanted more, but I, I worked hard and picked my top five. See, I had a hard time coming up with five, See? not because there's not five things I want to do, but the top five things that set themselves apart from, you know, just going to Disney world. I like just going to Disney world. I went last time by myself and you know, you just putter around. It's totally fine. I didn't have any big agenda. But I have a few agenda items. Picking the top two was easy. Picking the top three was a little harder. The rest, it's pretty cool. All right. My number five is something that looks really, really cool. And that is seeing Kermit. Or not actually seeing Kermit, but hearing Kermit sing Rainbow Connection with that, the lights on. Um, didn't even think about that one when Spaceship I was making my Earth. list. Yeah. And let me just say, Kermit singing that song. There's there's very little things in, in life that make me emotional. You know, when my favorite team loses, I'm, I'm used to it now. I'm in my 50s. <laughs> Dang it, the Cowboys are going to lose every single time. If they don't, it'll be, ah. But, you know, if they do, it's like, yeah. I'm again. Titans are playing this weekend. They lose. I'm going to be like, stupid Titans. But I'm not going to like it all. But when I hear Kermit go, why are there so many? Yeah, it's just. About rainbows. You automatically tear up. I can't help it. And what's on the other side? I haven't even My been eyes able right to watch. Now, yeah. Just a little bit of like. <laughs> Mine too. I can't have. I've not even been able to watch any of the videos that people have been posting. Because one, it's going to make me super emotional to hear it. So. But also because I, because I know I'm going to be super emotional, I really want to experience it live the first time. And maybe if we weren't going so soon, I would have still watched it. But I just felt like, oh, I'm going to wait. So I have not watched any of the videos of it yet. Nor have I. I just, I just can imagine. And I, she hasn't seen the castle, the the castle, <laughs> the um, spaceship Earth lights. No. Totally, she's seen them. When we were leaving the park last time we went, she saw them, but the shows that they're doing on there are just, yeah. Yeah. I, I was so amazed by that last time that you just want to stand there, even if it's raining yeah. and watch them. I can imagine. Of course they were Christmas lights. They were doing more Christmassy kind of shows, but all right. So that's my number five. What is your right. number five? My number five is an odd one because mine is, Animal Kingdom in the morning, a walkabout. Actually, for me, it'll be a ride about because I, <laughs> I am doctor demanded scooter traveling for Valerie this time. So I will be riding in a scooter. But I had so much fun that morning that I just wandered Animal Kingdom. And so I'm kind of looking forward to doing that again, just taking in the sights and spending a little quality time in Animal Kingdom. Hopefully, maybe a little stop at Nomad Lounge if we have the time, but for sure, just wandering around and looking at the sights. You have plenty of time. Although I do have something I want to do with the Animal Kingdom myself later oh, on. Oh, in interesting. Yes. All right. Number four. 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 <laughs> four. I want to finally give all my information to the Empire. And I'm looking forward to, you know, the rise of the resistance. I'm going to get on the, in the queue and I'm going to go, I know 
where the base is. Let's go. Yeah, but they're, this time. they never believe you. They always think that you're just trying to fool them. They never want you to actually give away the base. You know, and that's, it that bothers me. I think they should now allow no talking in the line. Once you get into that, that room, they should say, everybody, no talking. And if you start talking, then they should pick on you for talking and say, be quiet. Right. Cause I, I know they can't like, you know, drill instructor you. Yeah. <laughs> AT&T well, syndrome, reach out and touch someone. They can't do that. I know that, but there's something about being able to talk and them like asking you questions and you like go, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Yeah. But the, empire pass, is, right? the empire is not really known for its, you know, wonderful ability to fight the rebels. So <laughs> they, for some reason, never want your information and, you know, there is a they little can't bit of shoot that. you, so it's like <laughs> not going to happen. I also kind of wish they had a, a separate path for people who wanted to do an empire. Like if they had a, a back, even if it was just a walking tour that you could do, right? <laughs> and you could just walk through the path and see things. That would be totally cool. I would think. And Maybe once cheap. it calms down and they have time to do some different things, I'm hoping they can switch it up a little bit. I, I feel like they built it where it could be switched up a little bit if they wanted to. Yeah. Mind you, I'm never I'm never disappointed when I have to go with the with the um, rebels. I can gather more information and things. And... <laughs> All right, that's my number four: is Rise of the Resistance. It's a little, a little obvious, I suppose. What is your number four? Number four. My number four is Ratatouille. Ratatouille. I did not get to experience it the last time. My health issues have kind of messed with my park time. Um, the last couple of times that we've visited the parks. And so I am really, I am thinking this trip, even if I'm not feeling a hundred percent, I'm going to just go for it. And if you have to drive me back to the resort, you'll drive me back to the resort. Cause I really want to, I want to see it. I'm anxious to see it because I haven't experienced it. And I really haven't watched a POV of it completely. I have a little bit here and there, but not a whole lot because again, it's something I really want to experience. So I've kind of, Try to avoid that. That one's going to be interesting to see how it affects you. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit like Rise of the Resistance. It's a little bit like um, Mickey and Minnie's Running Away Railway and the right. spinning. It spins a little more. And and under my normal circumstances, I can do both of those attractions with no issues whatsoever. With the health issues I've had this year and medications I've been dealing with vertigo a little bit more often than normal. So that was why I didn't do it last time because the day we were at Epcot, I was really not feeling well. And so I decided I didn't want it to ruin the rest of my night. And so I, I didn't take a chance, but I think it's going to be something that I can do typically. I just don't know that it's going to be great for me right now, but I'm anxious to see it. I'm going to be more interested to see if it's something you want to do again. <laughs> it's, it's, I'll, I'll let you experience it. You've yeah. seen some of the pictures. It's I've seen some of the pictures. And I, my, my expectations aren't huge, but I tend to enjoy attractions more than, you know, your average person. So I'm hoping that I'll enjoy it a lot more than a lot of people have. So I don't know. We'll see. I was going to say Landon really doesn't like it. Landon Doan from yeah, see, that's Does Does Disney. That makes me nervous when friends that I know love Disney as much as we do are struggling with attractions. And so I don't think Justin loves it that much either. Mm -hmm. No, and it affects him, I think, motion sickness wise. So um, so this may be a one and done for me. I don't know. I, we'll just have to kind of see. Um, but I, I feel like if it's like Mickey and Minnie's in that same kind of sense, then I shouldn't have a problem with it. But we'll just have to wait and see. I usually it's, give things, I, I try to give things a one time shot unless it's something that flips upside down because I know I can't flip upside down. So if, if you know, I try to give to attractions it. at least a one time because I even did Alien. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not saying it right. And I can't think of the name of the attraction. The spin that's beside Slinky Dog Dash, the Alien. Oh. <laughs> alien um, Spinning Saucers. Yes, the alien spinning saucers. I even gave it a shot because I just wanted to try it once. And yeah, that was a huge mistake, big mistake. But still, I, I did it once. So let me go on record and saying Ratatouille is better <laughs> than alien spinning saucers <laughs> by a thousand percent. And aliens, I'll, I'll do it. But that one's not one I'll wait for. Yeah. It's not like the teacups. Okay, the teacups are the simple, just spinning thing, but you can spin so cool on those that I will do them. I over and over. 
I cannot do the teacups at all. I, I really all. wouldn't mind if one of the people we might see on this trip coming up will teacup it with me because yeah. I'd love to have a you know four or five teacup spin. Yeah, you like to do that with people. I I I have experienced the teacups in many years past, like before we started going to the parks when I was younger. And so I have done the teacups before, but it has been a very long time. I have not ridden them since we've been going as a family. So it's been a while. It'll actually make me dizzy. Sometimes it's a little hard to get to the side and then I'm, I'm fine once I get out of there. But so your number four fits nicely with my number three. Okay. And that is, I want to photograph Epcot more on Monday night during the deluxe extra hours. Because at Christmas, that was the greatest time to take pictures of that area. If they, they closed down from Norway to France. So I was over by Norway and I saw them blocking Kading things off. And I was like, you're going to kick me out of here, aren't you? And they were like, not if you go the other way. <laughs> so I went Ooh. the other way. And there was very, very, very few people there. I mean, it probably should be the same way because it's probably going to be kind of cold. And I didn't know they were even, that France will be open. I thought it was going to be completely kicked out. And that's when I actually bumped into Ratatouille being open. Because I was right. just going to go back there and take pictures. Because, you know, there's not going to be that many people at the extra magic hours. Anyways, it's certainly the second hour. Because it's, it's Epcot. Right? <laughs> and you go to Epcot for harmonious, the food, the rides... <laughs> the rides are, are good, but they're not amazing. And I'm not riding it. I, I was I, when I got there, I was like, I already rode Soren in a couple of times. And there's no way I'm riding Test Track when it's in the 40s. It's not happening. 50s even get a little, a little bit more much for me. Oh it's, it, I, it's it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, walking around, there's like nobody around, and it was just perfect um, environment. So, yeah, and I just learned today that the extra magic hours for um, the Magic Kingdom are out on Friday, so we're going to miss those. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if you're choosing which one to go to, the, e the Epcot ones are great. And this is, you know, and this could have changed. <laughs> I, we, we don't do news here. We do opinions and opinions based on <laughs> things in the past. But as of December, the Epcot magic hours were amazing. Mm -hmm. The, ex, the deluxe hours, the the uh, Magic Kingdom ones were okay because that place stays packed because the fireworks happen and then you have these extra magic hours and mm -hmm. people don't have to leave. It's not like everybody leaves like Epcot where you're about a mile away from the exit. Everybody's just hanging around and talking and shopping and things. So that wasn't as good. And you can usually stick around an hour after park closes anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, I haven't done that in a while. I, I've apparently gotten older. In my <laughs> Have we? It's been a year. So, you know, yeah. We've aged a little bit in this last year. We're going to get right, back. So that's, coming back. That's number three. All right. For me. All right. What is your number three? My number three is one that's just probably going to be like not a big surprise. It's the haunted mansion. The haunted mansion. Yeah. Anything special about the haunted mansion? It's just you to do like a funny face on the. I, I don't have any plans. Do it with somebody just, else instead of me. Or... I love the haunted mansion so much, and so it just any time that I get to experience it, I just get excited about it and I look forward to it. And it's just one of those attractions that I, it's a must do for me. So we go you know, that's going to be an attraction we're going to do no matter what. And I love it so much. And so I'm just, I'm excited to see it again. That would be a cool collectible of friends would be like getting a picture with every person, you know, outside of the, in the group and like a ride on the haunted mansion or something. We have some good ones with, um, I've Justin and Sam. We had those. Yes. Although I, I'll be honest, as much as I love the Haunted Mansion and as many times as I read the attraction, I always forget where the picture is. Yeah. So I'm never, it's... I'm never really doing very well with that because I just, I never exactly remember where it is. So, and I get so excited about being in it and I start looking at things and then I just lose track of, oh yeah, there's a picture. Yeah. So. 
I do that on pirates mostly. Cause I'm like, I'm going to get a picture of the guy over here. I don't know why I want another picture. I've got thousands of pictures. They're all, they're all terrible, but um, I would I'm like still to do, but I, Well, and another thing is I'd really like to do a picture outside of the Haunted Mansion again. It's one of my very favorite pictures that I've done of myself. It's with the lantern and it's by the, the gates for the Haunted yeah. Mansion where you go in. And I love that picture. But the only thing is, you know, I mean, I, I'm wearing a Christmas t-shirt. And so I'd, I'll, I'll use it at Christmas time, but I, I don't typically use it throughout the year because it's a Christmas t-shirt. And so I want to try to get one in a more generic shirt so that I can use it more in my pictures. That doesn't happen. I, I, I know some Photoshop tricks. <laughs> I can Photoshop you out of the picture. Oh, okay. Cool. You'll have a lantern just, there. Yeah. So. Put a different Mickey on my t-shirt or something. In. That's it. It's possible. You know, that's how most of those advertisements are done. They're just the same person in the same pose. And they, yeah, different shirts. Which is why when you order the shirts, they suck. <laughs> All right, coming in at number two uh-huh. is Expedition Everest. I want to ride this thing like 20 times. Because, you know, when you, when you walk in the park and you see the tree of life, right? And you just, you walk up and then you turn to the left, to the right, and you're walking and you're walking and you get there and you're like, oh my gosh, this thing's amazing. And then I want to just ride it and ride it and ride it. And I think I should be able to have time to do that, right? Do you think? Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be very busy. And you just you just get there and there's just like, it's, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. I just can't wait to get there and ride Expedition Everest. I'm happy for you, honey. Us. Okay, so what comes in at number two for you? My next to the last one for this countdown is Festival of the Arts. Festival of the Arts. It is my favorite festival. It's one of my favorite events that Walt Disney World does at all. It would probably be number one, except for Not So Scary is always going to be number one, but... Festival of the Arts is incredibly cool. You know, I love to draw. I love to sketch. I love animation. So the fact that you get all of these opportunities to watch artists and see artists and participate in different types of functions that has to do with the arts, just it it gets me very, very excited. So I love going during this time of year because I love Festival of the Arts. I really wish they would put like a camera, a webcam on that piece of art. I, I'll put up a I know, picture. Big, I love that. The big mural that you get to paint. There's a huge mural in Epcot and you get to paint certain uh, squares of it. So you get to be a part of that. And they have more of the animation classes during this time, which I love. And there's just so many artists that are, you know, working all throughout the parks and uh, throughout the park, throughout Epcot. And so it's just, I love it. It's fun. And you get food, which is just a kind of neat added bonus is that the food is, is around and you've got the booths for that. And to clarify, so, you, you buy food, not get food. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'll hand you some paint that will not hand you like a cupcake. Here. No. <laughs> Look at yeah, this pretty so cookie. You. All yours. Just 20 bucks. That's, that's all there is. <laughs> well, yeah, no. I'm kidding. It's but not that anyway. Bad. But I do love Festival of the Arts, so that's. I do too. It's one. It's 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 my second favorite of them. Uh, obviously, the Flower and Garden just you like has. Flower, you like Flower and Garden the best because of the photos, right? Yeah. Because it's the flower in the garden. I mean, the yeah. that big flower they make out of flowers on the side of the. It's just you go wow. Yeah. And the little pots with the flowers floating in the. Yeah. That's, hands down. You don't have it's, to it's even. It's really pretty. You don't have to spend any time there more than 10 minutes and you've gotten everything you need to get out of it. If you're on a, on a short trip, festival of the arts is the best because it has, it has the best kind of activities to do. But I mean, last time we went back in 19, we didn't do very much there. That was at the last um, meetup. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't do it very much justice. I know the first year we did, we did spend a lot of time there. Yeah. That's my goal mm-hmm. this time. 
uh, that we'll have to find some time to go there. So it'll be interesting to see how that all works out. Yeah. All right. Coming up at number one, I hope we both had the same thing or I'm going to have to edit and redo this <laughs> because someone's, someone's feelings will be hurt because I, I didn't put any specific individuals on my list, but I'm looking forward to meeting up with a friends at Disney gratitude. That's at Disney gratitude. Replace the last E with a one her meetup. Yes. Jocelyn, that's my number one, too, is the meetup. Okay. <laughs> uh, anytime we can meet our Disney friends, it, it's huge. The first meetup that we did the year before last, right? Was it two years ago? Yeah. Or, or three? Two, uh, the pandemic has thrown my years off. But um, the very first meetup was really when I met everyone. You had been working with everybody on Twitter a lot and talking to people and really getting to know people. And at that point, I was still doing a lot of work and I wasn't as engaged on Twitter as you were. And so I had not really met everyone until the actual meetup, but I was a little nervous about, you know, I had listened to some podcasts, obviously. So I knew who people were. And so I was a little nervous about meeting these, you know, well-known people who had these amazing podcasts and I didn't really know them personally at that point. And so I was really nervous about going and I just had so much fun that day. And that day really started some incredible friendships. And so whenever we can see our Disney friends when we go to the parks now that, you know, there's several that live in the Orlando area. So we get to, to, to see them when we go occasionally and then and looking forward to seeing them in the meetup. I'm just thrilled. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And it was funny, too, because some of the people we we met them and we're like, oh, they're not very friendly. You know, they're a little snooty or something. And it turns out, you know, some people thought the same thing about us, really. It, it wasn't, it was because they didn't know anybody. We didn't know people. And they knew who they already knew. So they're introverted. <laughs> and they thought we were mean. They, it was just a really funny thing. And um, it sucks because there's a few people that can't make it because of the stupid virus that won't go away. Right. I'm not going to get political. <laughs> I need my own political song. I'm not going to. I should just say, well, still the Dillos, but it comes, it, um, it goes into our head. Dillos, just to let you know. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. But it's, um, it, it's a lot of fun meeting people. Even riding a ride, you don't want to ride. If you don't want to ride something, it's still <laughs> just as much fun. I'm talking about simple, um, simple world, small world. <laughs> Even if you're not a big fan of small world, riding it, with a boat full of people you know is pretty spectacular. It is. So. It is. It's a lot of fun. It's a great community of friends, and and they have just uh, just become so very very important in our lives. And so it's always great when we get to see them in person. Always, I can't. I, I just can't wait. I'm very very excited about it. And it's not a super closed in, um, circle of friends either. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people you can join. For just like a couple of bucks, you can get in on our Discord, the Dillo Dillos. I mean, the, the Dillos have a Patreon, but it's a, you, a very cheap Patreon to get involved with. Um, and just Twitter. And if you just show up at some of the live events that they do, I don't know, I tweet about them. They tweet about them mm -hmm. at Dillos Diz. You can, um, you can join in the chat and meet some new friends as well. Yeah. It's been awesome. We have a lot of lot of good Twitter, a lot of good Twitter friends mm -hmm. that are slightly more than Twitter friends because we <laughs> see them live a lot and talk to them a lot. Yeah. On that on the Discord from the Dillos Patreon. Yeah. As well. So that ends the Dillo advertisement. <laughs> but um yeah, so obviously it was hard coming up with five things because it's pretty much like <laughs> Meeting friends, riding expedition Everest. Okay, I, I know it's closed. It was, it was... Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> it does actually make it a little easier to pick which parks to go to. <laughs> but we um, still go to Animal Kingdom. That that's not going to keep still go us in the morning. <laughs> Won't keep me there as long as it's normal. No, because I actually really would have liked to have done a marathon of that. Um, I don't know what we don't have no idea. We, 
we don't have no idea. We don't have any idea how it's going to be, but yeah. busy. Well, busy. yeah. And two, and for me, like I said, I, it was hard for me just to pick five because my last couple of trips have been so limited in time in the parks that I want to do everything and I'm not going to be able to be in the parks as much as I would like to. So I know I'm not going to be able to do everything. So that's why I said, it's hard for me to pick my top five because there's so much I want to do that. I know I'm not going to be able to, but um, the meetup that that I'm making sure I have the ability to try to do. Let's be fair. I'm not going to be able to be in the parks as much as I want to be. I know. And that's we, we, because they'll be closed at times. So <laughs> it is going to be a little interesting. I'm, I'm planning on watching two football games on Sunday. <laughs> um, I'm not even going to ask how it's going to work. I have an uh, iPad. So if you're at the parks and you want to watch the game with me, I'll be holed up somewhere for over at Hollywood Studios. Or maybe an hour out of animation. That's one of the things I've started doing that I really kind of enjoy is I'll just get on the Skyliner and I went over to Art of Animation or Pop Century. I think it was Art of Animation was the one I went to last time. And they have good food. They have refillable drinks. Whole nine year, yards was really nice. Um, the Skyliner, I, well, my post sat, Saturday is about that. I, I, when I first started going to the parks, you know, I was really excited about the train and the monorail. Yeah, these were, but the train and the monorail are not didn't turn out to be the as nostalgically amazing to me as. As I thought, I mean, I still try to ride the monorail re, um, on a trip if, if I get to. I still try to ride. I will ride the train as well. The train's really good transportation in Dollywood, but I mean, Dollywood. Trans it's terrible transportation in Dollywood because it just goes in a loop and comes back to the same place. It's good. Um, The train is good transportation at Disney World. And it is. And Disneyland too, but. And it's amazing that all of these years I've never been able to get you to ride the monorail to go have lunch or breakfast in a resort before. But now that the Skyliner has come, you'll do anything to get to ride the Skyliner. So you'll go to resorts. It's in the just Skyliner. so darn fast. So, yeah. just, and even, yeah. even at the night, I mean, it's the line it just moves. Oh. It's the thing that thinking about it is I hate standing. I'm not good at standing. I'm, I'm decent at walking, but standing just, destroys me and you know because of the way these things go you come in you load up you come in they load up 10 minutes later another one comes the monorails it's it's a great ride once you're on there but it's it's really bad transportation not bad but it's complicated transportation i like the ferry i, I never knew about the ferry i think the ferry was one of my favorite modes of transportation but the skyliner there's something about it i I, I, one of the, my nostalgic things about the train was I used to go to Tweetsie Railroad in um, mm -hmm. North Carolina. And I think something about, you know, they used to have the cowboys come and rob, the robbers come rob the train and all that stuff. I don't remember any of it, but I had this nostalgic thing about trains. And I, I mean, I mm -hmm. like trains. But, you know, it, the Skyliner is, it, it's both good transportation and it's pretty. And the only the only downside is temperature wise when it's cold outside <laughs> it is much colder up there than you would imagine. So I enjoy I, the friendship boats. If I'm gonna take another transportation to somewhere, I love to take the friendship boats from Hollywood Studios to Epcot. Yeah, that's been my and normal so thing is to take one over and I one enjoy. back. Yeah, the friendship boats are really slow. They are, but they're, they give you a chance to rest and just kind of enjoy some scenery before you're going to start back up in another park. And so it's, it's a nice little break in your day if you're wanting to park hop and, and it gets you, especially if you just want to do a meal. Like a lot of times what we would do is have the day at Hollywood studios, but then we would take the friendship boats over to Epcot and eat at one of the restaurants around the world and then come back over to finish out the day in Hollywood studios. And so that was always just a nice little trip that we can make to have a nice meal out of Hollywood studios and then be back. I will say also be sure and time your time, your trip. They do enforce the two o'clock um, park hopping time. Yeah. I'm not used I, to thinking about that. So I'm glad you mentioned that. 
I got there. I got there early, like 15, 20 minutes early last time. <laughs> I had to sit and wait outside the gate. And then lots of people show up right around two because they're not stupid and show up. <laughs> That's too early. All right. So those are our five, clearly not only five, but I think that's all I've got to say. Yeah. I'm we'll looking forward this. to this trip. Well, I have a lot to share, a lot of pictures for our Twitter accounts, a lot of trivia and little information for our Twitter mm. accounts when we get back. And Here. <laughs> yeah, we'll be moving, but we will also be tweeting. So always tweeting, always tweeting. I'm tweeting. Oh, it's tweeting. That's right. I've I broke out the bad impressions this time. A little bit. Kermit the Frog. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's let's just move on. She makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> uh, and goodbye. Bye. See you, See you later, friends. Bye.